what is good yo it's your boy top back here with another video we do get 12 new players today including the takeover set with galaxy opal scotty pippen as a reward but guys there are other cards that i'm super super excited about and guys without further ado let's hop right into it starting it off with shooting guard i'm guessing point guard Allen iverson six feet tall 89 three ball i'm not gonna spend a ton of time on these types of cards 80 driving dunk 96 speed 94 lateral quickness with the 85 perimeter defense let's look at the badges here 16 hall of famers gold range gold quick draw i mean he's an Allen iverson card he's six feet tall you know what you're getting out of this card i would not suggest this card in any type of scenario the next card here is a career highlights card so this card will not be in the set uh he's just a career highlights card so i'm guessing he's not going to be very good uh, and that's amethyst ron harper 66 point guard though 83 ball 75 driving dunk 90 speed 93 lateral quickness with the 94 perimeter defense so very good defensive stats let's look at his badges here no range extender for this car which i'm not surprised he's ron harper i wouldn't really expect it um, but he's gonna have some good defensive badges pig dodger clamps interceptor tyler's defender so he does have some very good defensive stats let's hop right into the next card here i'm not gonna spend a ton of time if i personally don't like the card and larry sanders guys is a card that i don't like but he is he is needed for this scotty pippen uh, reward and so he's 6 11 got a 25 a three ball 88 speed 88 84 lateral quickness so he's a very good defensive player but guys he, he can't shoot the ball at all so that does hurt his value quite a lot um he does have quick draw which doesn't really matter but look at his defensive badges he has all 20 of them especially all the inside badges so you're just kind of looking for for a guy to play defense he is not a terrible option the next car we we get today is seven foot two james donaldson so He's seven foot two, has 84 speed. That already is a little bit scary. Now he does not have a three point shot at a 50, so that's something to to at least uh, calm everybody down a little bit. But he has 83 lateral quickness, which is super super good. 75 perimeter defense. This card might be pretty cheesy. I'm not going to lie with you. Hall of Fame quick draw. Wonder does he got a mid range jumper? Does have a good midi, so uh, you can knock stuff down in the mid range. And defensively, he's very very good on the inside. Uh, but no interceptor pick dodger pickpocket so and on the interior he's going to be a good defender up against like the yao mings manute bulls of the world but i still do not see a situation in which this card is going to be playable looking at the next card here we do get shooting guard larry hughes who is also in the set for scotty pippen now he is 6'5 um which is a, a decent um it's not terrible it's not terrible for a, a shooting guard i'm guessing he can play point guard too um which which is definitely gonna help the cause got an 88 three ball um 40 driving dunk so he's not gonna be able to dunk the ball like at all which does hurt his value especially at six foot five 86 ball handle 88 speed good defender uh perimeter defense at 88 i don't like this card I, i'm not gonna sit here and lie to you i don't love the card hall of fame quick draw gold range standard decent finishing his defensive badges are pretty pretty good though Hall of Fame, Pick Dodger, Pickpocket, Clamps, Interceptor, Tyler's Defender. So I'm a, I'm a fan of his badges, but his stats don't really live up to it. I would not get this Larry Hughes card. I cannot lie to you. Uh, maybe you guys can make fun of me, but I have no idea who Robert Reed is. I've never heard the had never heard the name before, ever. Um, never seen him in 2K. Uh, maybe it's me, but I do not know who this card is. But let's hop into it. 6'8", can play small forward. I don't know if he's small forward, power forward, small forward, shooting guard. Um, 89 three ball, 82 or 80 driving dunk, 90 speed, 86 ball handle, 92 lateral quickness with an 88 perimeter defense and a 90 steal rating. Super good stats. Pretty good stats. He does have Hall of Fame quick draw. They didn't give him range extender. Yeah, imagine making one of the best cards in the set so far without range extender. That's just a deal breaker for me, and I am not getting this Robert Reed card. Next, we get a Dwayne Wade card. Now, the thing about this is there's nothing that we haven't had anything between the amethyst and pink diamond and now we do so for a budget baller this is going to be a great card it really will be 88 three ball good driving dunk 94 speed 93 lateral quickness with a 90 perimeter defense i don't see how much better the pink diamond possibly can be than this card because this card has hall of fame quick draw gold range extender i want to compare this card to the pink diamond because there is no way it's going to be that much of a difference this dude does he did they they still didn't give him pick dodger um, so it's still gonna be kind of like the pink diamond hall of fame clamps focus stick tyler's defender 
Um, I still think the Pink Diamond's better, but it's not that big of a difference. And Dwayne Wade's a great, great card for budget ballers. Next, we get center power forward Carl Malone, Pink Diamond Deny. If, yeah, if you can't tell with my voice, I'm not excited about the card. 83 ball, 85 driving dunk, 88 speed, 84 lateral quick. And I just, I, I don't see where this card can be playable at all. I don't like his release, but that's just my opinion. He does have gold quid draw and gold range, which I'm kind of surprised he has those badges. Uh, but then you even look at his defensive badges. There's no interceptor on this card. Um, he does have eight Hall of Fame badges all on the interior defense. Um, and no clamp, or he does have gold clamps, no pick dodge, no pick pocket. So if you play him at power forward, I'm not a huge fan, and I don't think you can play this card at center. So me personally, I'm not a big fan of this card. Finally, finally we get to one of my favorite cards in the set, a usable card, one of the first usable cards that we are going to go over, and that is Darius Miles Pink Diamond 89 three ball. 98 driving duck, 95 speed, 86 ball handle, 95 lateral quickness, and a 92 perimeter defense. I, I'm ecstatic. I, I don't know what to say. I'm in awe. This card with a good release is going to be a top card. He is going to be very, very good. 10 Hall of Fame finishing badge with three on gold. Shooting wise, he does have Hall of Fame catch and shoot, green machine, quick draw, volume shooter with gold range extender. Playmaker wise, Hall of Fame downhill, handles for days, quick first step, space creator, tight handles, and unpluckable. Are you kidding me? He does have gold bailout needle threader. Defensive wise, Hall of Fame pig dodger, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, pogo stick, tireless defender. Wow. Gold pickpocket, rim protector, moving track, post move lockdown. At six feet nine, he can play the power forward position. Now I'm guessing his secondary position is going to be small forward, where he might even be better. This Darius Miles card is the real deal, and is absolutely worth picking up for your squad. Okay, another person in the set that I I think has a chance to be very very good is point guard Reggie Theus. Now he is missing a few hot spots, but um, we can we can get over that for this Reggie Theus card. Got an 87 three ball. It got 95 driving dunk, 80 ball handle, 92 speed, 93 lateral quickness with an 89 perimeter defense. Like you, like you see in the athleticism stats, everything's over a 90. I'm very, very excited for this card. 33 Hall of Famers with 26 gold badges. Finishing wise, he does have 11 Hall of Fame finishing badges with four on gold. Shooting wise, he does have Hall of Fame catch and shoot, green machine, quick draw, hot zone hunter, and gold range extender. Playmaking wise, as you guys see, downhill handles for days, needle threader, quick first step, tight handles, and unpluckable. Some very, very good uh, Hall of Fame badges right there. Defensive wise, I wish he had more, but he does have pick dodger, clamps, pogo stick, and tireless defender. So some very, very good badges in those. Now he does have gold pickpocket, interceptor, intimidator, so he's got it all. I wish some more were on Hall of Fame, but this Reggie Theus card is very, very good. And if you're, I mean, he's another card that is worth looking to pick up for your squad. Okay, I don't know how I feel about this. We get a Jason Kidd card now. It, it might be different with Quick Draw, but I'm not. I don't think his release is going to be playable, and that's my opinion. Uh, you can think whatever you want about this Jason Kidd card, but if you don't have a good release, you're not going to be playing for me, um, especially at six four at the point about guard position. But let's hop into his stats: 95 three ball, 85 driving dunk, good speed, good ball handle. 98 lateral quickness, 98 perimeter defense. This card is going to be one of the best defensive players in the game, even though he is only 6'4". 47 Hall of Fame badges and 15 on gold. Absolutely incredible. Nine Hall of Famers for finishing wise. Shooting wise, he does have 12 Hall of Famers, including range and quick draw. Playmaking wise, he does have bailout downhill, handles for days, needle threader, quick first step, space creator, stop and go, tight handles, and unpluckable. Some incredible playmaking badges um, for Jason Kidd. Defensive wise, he goes crazy 10 hall of famers it looks like um no 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 no. he has 14 hall of famers okay pig dodger pickpocket clamps interceptor intimidator off ball pest pogo stick rebound chaser tyler's defender so everything you need he has and guys if, if, if this jason kid came with just a little better release i would be 100 all in on this card because even though he is only 6'4 i do like his player model i'm still not against this jason kid card depending on his release with hall of fame quick draw now we get to my boy, my boy, my, I'm, I, I'm holding in something right now. I'm so, so excited to get this Giannis Antetokounmpo card. I'm, I'm so, so excited. And Galaxy Opal Giannis, that's not a, like, he's not the set reward. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm honestly shocked, but I'm very, very happy. 87 three ball, 98 driving dunk, 97 speed. And that's different on Giannis. 91 ball handle his peekaboo gonna be filthy 
97 lateral quickness with a 97 perimeter defense also has a 96 steal rating and good rebounding just absolutely incredible a Giannis with the lowest stat being his three pointer at or his block technically at 82 just absolutely crazy 45 hall of famers with 28 gold badges you guys do the math that's 73 badges the only badges he does not have is ice and veins and steady shooter everything else is at least on gold this card might be the best card in the game uh, it is way better than the glitch pink diamond it's not even close this Giannis is going to be the real deal um, and I don't think he's I think he's a small forward power forward which is fine you can play Giannis at power forward he does not need that point guard uh, tag on him he does have nine Hall of Fame finishing badges which as long as you have where's it at Oh, I was, you, you scared me. As long as you got that fancy footwork on Hall of Fame, we're, we're moving and grooving with that hop step. Shooting-wise, he does have Hall of Fame quick draw volume shooter catch and shoot uh, with gold range extender dead eye. So, guys, you, you know what you're getting out of this card. Playmaker-wise, he does have Hall of Fame downhill handles for days, needle third, quick first step, stop and go, tight handles, and unpluckable. Uh, so, like, what, what more could you want out of a Giannis card? He's got it all, um, and there's going to be no stop in this card. Hall of Fame, Pig Dodger, Pickpocket, Rim Protector, Clamps, Interceptor, Intimidator, Pogo Stick, Post Move Lockdown, Rebound Chaser, Tyless Defender. I'm speechless. I'm honestly speechless because what... What does he not have? He's going to be the best defensive player in the game. With his defensive badges, his defensive stats, his 6'11 frame, he is going to be the best defensive player in the game. And that's by far. I'm already going to tell you guys, do not lock in Scottie Pippen, but pick up this Giannis card. The next card we get today is Galaxy Opal Chris Bosch, 97 three ball, 90 driving dunk, 90 speed, 87 lateral quickness with 83 perimeter defense, good rebounding stats. He's an okay card. I'm not super ecstatic about this card, but he's okay. He does have Hall of Fame quick draw, Hall of Fame range, which honestly is to be expected for this card. So shooting wise, he is going to be great in the pick and pop game. Now his release is kind of like Sean Elliott's. If you play with the Pink Diamond, Chris Bosh, you'll know what kind of release he has. It's kind of weird, um, but it is super quick. He does shoot a lot of long twos as well, but he does have Hall of Fame downhill quick first step. Gold, needle threaded, tight handles, and unpluckable defensive wise. Hall of Fame, brick wall, rim protector, clamps, intimidator, pogo stick, post move lockdown, rebound chase, and tireless defender. So it's a very good badge, as well as um as well as seven gold defensive badges. So like I said, he's a very versatile defender um, and, and very good on the offensive end as well. So I'm not totally against this card. Will I pick him up for my team? No, I won't. And that's just kind of a preference-based thing. Um, but he's 6'11 at the center. I would probably play him at the center position as well. Getting into this set reward is Galaxy Opal Scotty Pippen at six foot eight. You guys know his lowest stat is in 95, it looks like. Um, so there's no point of going through it. Every stat of his is the same, basically. Let's hop into the badge, which he has literally every badge besides Steady Shooter in the game. Um, it just it all comes down to his release. If they gave him a better release, I'm gonna tell you he might be worth it. If they didn't give him the better release, then he's not going to be worth it. 13 Hall of Fame finishing badges with five on gold. Shooting wise, he does. Um, it looks like have 14 Hall of Famers. Range extender, quick draw. So it it all comes down to his release. Like I said, playmaker wise, 14 Hall of Famers. Handles for days, quick first step, unpluckable, stop and go, tight handles downhill. He's got everything. Needle threaders on gold. Defensive wise, Hall of Fame pick dodger, pickpocket, clamps, interceptor, intimidator, pogo stick, post move lockdown, tireless defender. Like I said, there's nothing that this Scottie Pippen can't do. It all comes down to what they gave for his release. Last, but definitely not least, is this GOAT Michael Jordan card. Now, I don't know if he's going to, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know if it's going to be have to do with Last Dance, but it does not have to do with the TakeOver promo. And so, um, the content's not been released for what MJ is, but we can go over his stats, which is 99 everything badge-wise. You got 65 Hall of Famers with nine on gold, just no steady shooter. Just look at him. It's basically another Scottie Pippen with an improved Scottie Pippen because MJ's animations, MJ's release, his steel tendency, everything about this MJ card is absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. So um, he's a card that I honestly, if he, I'm, I'm not going to say I'll grind for him, but he is going to be more worth it than that Kobe is uh, just because of his sigs, because of his animations. I love this MJ card and I do think, hold up, let me, let me check something. I'm pretty confident he does have the point. He does. He's a he's a point guard secondary as well. Um, so if that's something you're interested in, I'll probably play him at shooting guard. But if you are interested in playing him at point guard, you can definitely do that. I right, know that is gonna wrap it up for another video today. I hope you all did enjoy it. Drop drop a like on the video if you did like it. Leave a comment down below which cards you guys are most excited for. And if you are new to the channel, smash that subscribe button as we're on the road to 15k. As always, I love y'all and have a blessed day.